श्री श्री आनंद मई मात की जय ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इन द साधका इज पाथ एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ वन साधना द साधका गोज थ्रू अ स्टेज वे इफ एनी वन कम्स टू पे ओबेसेंस ही फील्स एम्बेरेस्ड इनसिग्निफिकेंट अनवर्दी ऑफ एनी वन सैल्यूट एंड विदड्रॉज हिमसेल्फ थिंकिंग दैट it will lead to a loss of spiritual energy as this energy increases he may lean towards working for the welfare of humanity he blesses those who do pranam to him when asked he tries to explain spiritual matters to the best of his ability like a person who finds satisfaction in undertaking charitable works when he becomes wealthy at that stage his goodness compassion accumulated wisdom benevolent attitude towards forgiveness and equality openness and simplicity are evident and bring joy to all as well as to himself since these qualities are aspects of the truth he avoids greed and attachment and hence eschews malice untruth and calumny he feels eager to share with all what he has got and what he has come to know the listener feels joy to hear his words outwardly he looks sweet and serene advancing on the path of truth and sincerity he gains some siddhis supernatural powers which manifest themselves in personal matters and worldly affairs as there is still hidden within him the desire for praise and fame he gains satisfaction by helping others in some way or receiving gifts to be used for good work this reveals that the roots of his egoistical tendencies are not yet destroyed too much involvement in displaying one siddhis inevitably leads to their loss confused between truth an untruth he may be led astray from the path of truth without at first realizing it but when he does so it becomes a matter of grave sorrow to him therefore it is imperative to keep one's attention fixed on the ultimate goal when the sadhaka concentrates with his entire heart and soul on the practice of his sadhana different spiritual experiences unfold within him as he progresses along the path once this process begins the sadhaka develops an intense dislike for all matters other than those spiritual at the mere mention or sight of anything unrelated to that a stinging or burning sensation comes upon him as if pricked by thorns or touched by fire he wants to talk only of god and about nothing else and because he is constantly absorbed in thoughts of the supreme being his general behavior appears pleasing he may acquire and subtly display many supernatural powers as per his progress those sadhakas who are not able to shun these powers but become enmeshed in this game are unable to proceed further whereas those who can overcome these obstacles reach the highest level when the sadhaka reaches even more elevated levels the tendency to communicate with others lessens he still attempts to answer questions from genuine seekers of knowledge although he realizes that such matters will not easily be understood without serious self endeavor on the part of the inquirer or their guru's grace and if anyone tries to pay obeisance to him the sadhaka feels seared like when water is poured into a hot vessel the desires and wishes of the person making pranam affect the sadhaka like an electric shock once he transcends the physical and is established in his true nature none of these things 
can affect him but till such time there is no escape from the emotional storm only a few of the stages experienced by the sadhaka have been mentioned of course the way in which the jagat guru's compassion flows is quite apart from this shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai